Hi guys, today's makeup I'm going to do in daylight. I'm sitting in front of the uh, window. I've tried to place everything like that. I might get up a few times to get the makeup products. Um, this is how I am all the time at home. I need my specs, which is why sometimes I need it to read the lipstick names, etc, etc. Considering this is a no pretense channel, I'm not pretending. Effort doing the makeup in front of the bulb, but uh, sometimes you all can't understand the real colors of the makeup unless I take pictures in daylight. But sometimes when I'm doing makeup in the evening, it it gets difficult for me to find the right light to demonstrate it to you. So I just saw a change of uh, location, literally in the same room. Uh, I've done a setup where sometimes I'm going to do my videos sitting here. And uh, I want to thank you all for all the love, mm, all the laughter, all the acceptance uh, that I'm getting from social media. I've spoken a lot. Let's start the makeup. Okay, so I've put my colored contacts on. It's an option if you want to. Uh, this one is uh, called Pure Hazel by Fresh Look. Already moisturized my face. I have used a sunscreen. Before I use the primer, I'm going to first do my eye makeup. I'm going to, as usual, mattify the top of my eyes with the Studio Fix. I'm going to contour the top of my eyes. Uh, it's best done with a skin tone color, a brown, a light brown, whatever that is convenient to you. This is not for the eyeshadow look. It literally contours the top of your eye. So I'm using the Miss Claire 0210 and the Pack 204 brush. And I'm going to just contour the top of my eyes without crossing the crease line. You can go for a lighter color also if you want to. Today I'm going to do a heavy upper eyelid look. Take any black eyeshadow. Right now I'm using this palette. This is the Born to Run palette and it has a black eyeshadow so I'm going for that. And take a brush that looks like either of these. This one is by Smashbox and this one is the pack 345. Whichever you want, whichever one you want to use. One is a little thicker, one is a little thinner. You can choose it based on how big your eyes are and what suits you. I'm going to take a little bit of, here yeah, I've taken some of the black eyeshadow. And with this brush, I'm going to just line it. I'm not going to go all over. Now how thick you want it is really up to you. Now see these brushes make life so easy. See that? Now I'm going to use the primer. I'm using the Wonder Glow by Charlotte Tilbury. Again, use a primer of your choice. I'm going to put very little and then if I need more, then I will take more. Now I'm going to use a little bit of concealer. Under eyes, an issue for most of us because half the time I don't sleep. And then I'm going to use it on the spots I feel I need it. You know, just to cover the redness. Layering is never a good idea at a daily basis. Now I'm going to use a sponge to blend it today. You can use a sponge, you can use a brush, whatever convenient. Then I'm going to go in again with my MAC Studio Fix Powder plus foundation, which is a foundation. I do use foundation, but this is convenient for me. Um, I do have dry skin, but still I find liquid foundation at a daily basis to create lines, doesn't stay. It's a lot of effort. This stays, just make sure you moisturize well. And though it's not a compact, you can carry it to touch up. Use any powder brush. This is a random one I picked up from uh, Body Shop. Used it so much that the number is also gone. It's, it's not written anywhere. So any powder brush.
Although this look is about having a heavy upper eyelid look, a little bit of definition on your lower lash line kind of makes it look better. So, take an angle brush that looks like this. I'm going to take my brown, the first one I took. You can take a darker brown. Just take a brown. Then, I'm going to define my lower outer lash line. Just start outside and just define it lightly. Don't come all the way in. It's very subtle, but it defines. It's just like a little shadow mascara. I prefer not using a waterproof mascara at a daily basis because it's tougher to remove and not really healthy for the lashes. Unless you're going for a pool party or a rain dance or you plan to cry a lot that day, avoid. Always wiggle the wand so that your lashes don't stick together. Put more on the tip. Then you get that whole flattery, flattery look. <laughs> a lot of women are scared of using mascara because of removal. Just use baby wipes and coconut oil. That's it. You'll be sorted. Now I'm going to freeze my eyebrows. This is the MAC Brow Set Transparent. Sometimes it's nice to highlight your brow bone. I don't do it every time, but I'm, if I'm doing a demonstration, I might as well show it to you. Use a shade like this. And I'm going to just use my finger, by the way. And I'm going to use it on my brow bone, literally on my brow bone. Don't go all the way in. Just this much is fine. Use any kind of a cream, champagne kind of shade. It could be shimmery, it could be matte. It's really up to you. Eye makeup is done. Let's move on. Time for lips. Now a lot of you must be wondering why I use a nude lip liner as a base or a primer, whatever term you guys want to use, uh, before I apply my lipstick. So let me show you something. Firstly, our lips have different colors. See, part of it is darker, part of it is not. <laughs> and if you look at my lips properly, see this side is higher than this. So this helps not just in correction, it gives you an even surface, uh, the lipstick sticks, uh, you can reshape, you can have fun. So a base nude lip liner is always good. Use any nude lip liner. For example, if you have a warmer skin tone, as in a darker skin tone, then you use a darker brown. If it's paler, you use a paler one. But try to stick to something which is a little darker than yours. Then pale lipsticks work well. But today I'm going to use a red. Also, make sure you put a lip balm or some kind of a chapstick and make sure your lips are not dry. My lips get really dry these days. I, I have no idea why. Just no matter what I apply, after a while it's like dry. So make sure when you prep your face for makeup, you've used a lip balm. So I'm going to fill this out. My fill my lips out with a nude shade. Now I'm going to shape it. So basically, I balanced this side. Now, the people who like brown lipsticks, nude lipsticks, you can just keep it like this and use a, a transparent gloss and make it work all day as well. 
just because I'm going to use a reddish lipstick or a red family lipstick doesn't mean I have to always uh, use the same color. So I'm going to use a dark lip liner, contour my lips with it and make sure you cover the lip liner. That's what matters. So like I said, I just have a few lip liners and I make them work. So I'm not going to just line it. I'm going to also contour my lips and this is chestnut by MAC. Just use any dark brown. This is just lining. Now, let's contour it. So you make a V over here. Then on the corners, just darken it a bit. Now this creates a perfect pout. Doesn't matter what color your lipstick is. Just make sure you cover the lip liner with the lipstick either with the lipstick itself or a lip brush just cover it cover the lip liner Maybelline Superstay ink crayon number 50 it's called it's called own your empire I like the name So I'm going to contour with this NYX palette, which I really love. Uh, it's a powder-based contour palette. And I'm using the Pack 245 brush just to clear the confusion. This is Pack and not MAC. It's a powder brush, but I like it for contour. A color like this under my cheekbone. Some on my temple, some on my jawline for all those double chins. Contour technique like I mentioned in one of my previous videos, draw a three on your face. Temple, then under the cheekbone and then jawline. I'm using the blush on called Dainty. It's damn cute. It's too cute. Uh, Dainty by MAC. Just use any blush on brush and just apply it. You know, when you want to know where exactly to apply the blush, just smile and this part pops out. Leftover on my nose. Because it's a daily makeup look, I did not contour my nose. But if you want to, I'm just using the leftover on my brush and just putting it on the two sides. Then I'm going to use a little bit of a highlighter. This is soft and gentle, mineralized skin finish. The rest I can't pronounce. I'll put the name in by MAC. and apply it on top of the blush. So contour, blush, highlighter. Little on the nose and a little on the temple. So my makeup is done. Hope it was easy. My request is please share the video if I've helped you at all. Uh, that's my only request. 